One thing we talk about a lot here on the channel as it pertains to recruiting is that I love when rivals go head to head for the same prospect, whether that's new rivals, current rivals, or old rivals. I think it just adds another layer of intrigue into an already interesting process, which is the recruiting process. And today, that's exactly what we need to talk about because the Oklahoma Sooners got a big time win out the transfer portal for an offensive tackle that several institutions wanted, who was actually committed to the Nebraska Cornhuskers and Walter Rouse. Today, we need to break this down. We need to talk about why this is such a big addition for the Oklahoma Sooners, what this means for the Nebraska Cornhuskers, and everything in between. But before we can, as always... Y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited that Oklahoma gets this win? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below. Those interactions are massive, and we're on a push to 20,000 subscribers. I'd love nothing more than to have you a part of this unbelievable community. But having said all that, Let's jump right into this. And this is a big win for the Oklahoma Sooners. That offensive line is set to lose some major pieces. And I know people are going to point me to the bowl game. And look, deservedly so. I completely understand why. Because that Oklahoma offensive line, those new pieces played very well against a defense for Florida State that's been able to get after the quarterback. But they showed up and they played high-level football because a lot of those guys were making their first start. So Oklahoma's offensive line already had some pieces that I'm sure the Oklahoma Sooners fan base were excited to see how they continued to grow and develop. However, if the opportunity presents itself for you to go and get an established, experienced offensive lineman you do so. And Walter Rouse is exactly that. This is an individual that in 2019 won freshman All-American honors, and he's even been lauded for how intelligent he is, being a biomechanical engineer. One thing we know about the offensive line, you want those guys to be sharp. I talk about this at length, that it's very hard to make the transition from high school football to college football. It may as well be a different sport. But specifically, on the offensive line, my goodness gracious, that transition is so difficult for several reasons. Difference in size, difference in speed, difference in strength. You could have an 18-year-old going up against a 22-year-old who's been lifting in a college strength and conditioning room for four straight years with the covid eligibility room, we could say five straight years, that's not an even matchup, which makes playing offensive linemen in college so difficult, which is why we're never surprised when we see a blue chip, highly rated guy come to an institution and sit for their first year. Now, we've seen countless examples of a five-star blue chip, four-star starting off the rip. That's not unheard of, but it's never surprising when an offensive lineman specifically takes a year to get acclimated. That's not surprising in the least. I say all this to give you this sort of adage. Iron sharpens iron. Because no team ever got better by shying away from competition. And it's good to see Brent Venables is open to having this competition in the room and having that iron sharpen iron mentality really play out. I think that's awesome. When we look at Walter Rouse, he's a very experienced individual in the Pac-12, having played for Stanford. And he's got a lot of snaps. According to Pro Football Focus, he grades higher in the run against the pass, which is to be expected for offensive linemen. That's as simple as firing off the ball and going to somebody as opposed to catching somebody. It's going to be much easier to win the battle if you can initiate the contact as opposed to trying to catch some 250-pound guy who's hell-bent on hitting your quarterback. That's going to be much more difficult than firing off and engaging. That's why I'm not surprised whenever I see an offensive tackle, offensive lineman who's graded higher in the run as opposed to the pass. But what you do know is he has a lot of experience. He's played a lot of football. And if you're Oklahoma, that's what you need. Like I said, though we can point to the bowl game and talk about how the guys who came in in relief of those tackles, they played a hell of a game. You want this experience. If at all possible, you want the experience and at least to see how the competition plays out. Because if he doesn't win the job, he doesn't win the job. But the guy who he's going to be competing against will be better for having competed against Rouse. However, if Rouse wins the job, well, then that answers that question. So this for Oklahoma is a big win, but what does this mean for the Nebraska Cornhuskers? Well, there's no denying you would love to have Rouse. I think any team in the nation that would have gotten this commitment would have been over the moon to have Rouse, but at the end of the day, the Matt Rule era is still incredibly intriguing for the Cornhuskers, and I think they need to be over the moon in their excitement about what's to come. I can't wait to see it. The Nebraska Cornhuskers are a team that when I was growing up, They were at the top of college football. I remember watching Crouch. I remember watching the defense that was just vaunted. And they need to get back to that. And the Nebraska Cornhuskers have an interesting problem that we've talked about in the past, and they're certainly not alone in this. 
But Nebraska's run of dominance was so far in the past that a lot of guys in the recruiting process can't relate to it. But it wasn't so far removed that it's completely irrelevant. So you want to be able to capitalize and get your institution back to where you know they should be. And I'm really interested to see how Matt Rule is able to do that. They've had some big wins in the transfer portal. They look to be having some big wins in recruiting. I'm just super interested to see what ends up happening. But there's no denying that this is a big win for the Oklahoma Sooners. And it has to be even sweeter that they flip a guy from the Nebraska Cornhuskers, someone who is an old rival. Hop down to the comments and let me know what you're thinking about this. That's it. See you.